Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video and in today's video I just want to highlight some of the newly released games on Steam Some of them you guys are probably abundantly aware about like we'll talk Resident Evil 3 at the end of this video But I want to start off by talking about some of the stuff that may have gone a little bit under your radar A free beta an awesome mod release for a very very good game Rising Storm 2 and a couple of other titles that should definitely be on your radar If you don't want to pick them up day one wishlist is always gonna be your friend and in the case of the beta, it is a freebie and you can try that out. So let's start with that West of Dead beta. I am surprised that this kind of came out out of nowhere. This actually came out a couple days ago. This was a game I was following for a minute and then it completely fell to the wayside for me. And then I saw it pop up on Steam. And I'm like, oh crap. This was a game I was really looking forward to based on its look, based on its art style. It looks really, really slick in presentation. It notes descend into the grim and gritty world of purgatory and this fast paced cover shooter, which combines the fluidity of twin stick controls and tactical cover usage. Dodge behind cover as you try to outgun your enemies in the unknown procedurally generated hunting grounds. Now, this is just a beta. This isn't going to be the entirety of the game. However, you are getting some content out of it. And if you were looking forward to this game, uh, I forgot where it was revealed, but it was revealed at a pretty notable event. And I was like, oh crap, this game can be something really, really special. And I'm not saying that it's going to be an absolute home run. I don't know, but just based on the visual style, that already had me incredibly captivated. And this is a game I definitely want to try out. And I know I say, very regularly these days. I really want to do a video looking at this beta. It's just that there's so much going on in PC gaming. I get sidetracked with a couple other stuff. You guys love the free game coverage video, so I always do those videos, but Sooner rather than later, we're going to get into some videos covering games, and these are the types of games that you're going to see me cover. Maybe I'll look at some big budget titles, but really, I do want to shine light on some of these games that do go a little bit under the radar, and West of Dead is exactly that kind of game. Again, if this looks captivating to you, try out the beta for free, because this could be something really good. Let's look at the system requirements. Nothing crazy at all. Intel i5-6600, AMD Ryzen 5 1600, but then if you're talking RAM, just 2 gigs of RAM, and then a DirectX of version 11 GPU. And then actually for minimum GPU, it does note a GTX 465 or an ATI Radeon HD 5700. So pretty, pretty low end, all things considered. But this is a game that it has a great art style, so it might not be the most technically impressive game, quote unquote. It's not a crisis, but that art style is so great that the visuals in this game are stunning to me. And that immediately drew me in. And then you look at the gameplay, that looks incredibly captivating as well. So give that a look. All right, next up, I do want to note the Winter War mod for Rising Storm 2 bringing players from the steaming jungles of Vietnam to the frozen forests of Finland during the Soviet Finnish Winter War of the late 1930s. Wow, what a significant mod for Rising Storm 2. Now, if you guys don't know, Rising Storm, Red Orchestra, all of these games... These games were some of my favorite titles, especially Red Orchestra 2. Going back, that is actually the game that got me super, super into PC gaming. Some of you guys might not, uh, might actually know that story. I've said it a few times here and there, but I sunk an obscene amount of hours into that game. But this new mod includes a lot of new stuff. You've got a bunch of brand new weapons, you've also got remastered classes, and you've got a litany of new maps as well. Full voice acting for both teams, all new ambient music, historically accurate character customization options, and new commander abilities and fire support. Best of all, if you have Rising Storm 2, this is a free download. It's a mod, a third party mod that was put out, uh, published by Tripwire on the Steam Store, but it wasn't done by Tripwire themselves, it was done by a separate team. It is a full conversion mod, so again, you do need Rising Storm 2 Vietnam that is but a lot of additional content and if you do have this game it's getting a uh, very positive reviews right now want to check this out at some point as well but again so much going on in PC gaming right now that this is one that's probably going to fall to the wayside for me just because I'm not super into multiplayer gaming right now outside of Mountain Blade 2 and that's something I haven't even gotten into yet, really. Uh, but this mod, for those of you that are into Rising Storm 2 and you like the Tripwire games, you might as well check it out, given that it's absolutely free. All right, a couple of other games. Now, that was obviously a beta and a mod, but a couple of other full releases I want to go over. In Other Waters, this is another game that looks pretty cool. Definitely one to add to your wish list. 12 user reviews on this one so far, and all of them are positive. Notes, play as an artificial intelligence guiding a stranded... Xenobiologist through a beautiful and mysterious alien ocean, a non-violent sci-fi story, enter a world of wonder, fear, and vulnerability, unraveling the history and ecology 
of an impossible planet, what will you discover together? I really dig games that are a little bit more soothing in style and a little bit more calm of a game. This one reminds me a lot of Abzu, an underwater game as well, and I thought that was a really cool game. Again, this one is also a very not serious game in the sense of it's not super violent, it's nothing like that. However, it is a very, very cool game in terms of presentation, so we'll check that out at some point. Very much an atmospheric title as well, and with 100% positive reviews, that's pretty cool. $14.99 for this one, $13.49 with a 10% off launch discount, but this is probably going to be a game that you add to your wish list. Probably pick it up sometime down the line when it is on sale. Wouldn't be all too surprised if it gets thrown into some bundles, humble bundles, and things like that, but I did think that game deserves some attention as it's still going a little bit under the radar right now. All right, next up, I did want to talk a little bit about One Piece Pirate Warriors 4. Now, I'm not a big One Piece guy, but I know so many people that are so into One Piece and it's ridiculous to me. The only thing I really, really know about One Piece outside of the first couple of episodes, and this is going to be a spoiler if you're watching One Piece and you don't want to be spoiled, click off the video right now, but I swear to God, it was like world news when Ace died. Uh, I guess that's Luffy's brother, but I would be like at the gym and people would come up to me and say, bro, did you watch One Piece? Ace freaking died. And I'm just like, dude, who is Ace? What is this Ace thing you talk about? And then I would just leave and it was like the craziest thing. People I didn't even know watch anime knew about Ace dying and again it was like world news and it was one of the most tragic moments in One Piece history I guess whatever a lot of you guys are probably more familiar with that than me but even I know about that and I'm not big on One Piece however I know that the Pirate Warrior games are really really good. $59.99 is always going to be a tough sell for these games. That's in my opinion. Uh, this is a Musou style game. So always with these games, you have to like the license IP. Uh, they're very chaotic, action heavy titles. And I've played games like Dragon Quest Heroes. And I've played a lot of the Musou games and I've enjoyed them. Dynasty Warriors Gundam is one that I enjoyed. And honestly, from a design standpoint, that game probably wasn't very good. Uh, but going back when I was a child, it was probably 10, 11 when those games came out. And I enjoyed them based on the fact I was a big Gundam fan. Uh, but One Piece, again, if you're into the Musou style games and if you're into One Piece, they go hand in hand and this one is being received quite well. 1,580 Steam user reviews, 86% positive on that. Uh, just that $59.99 price point is going to be a little bit of a hard pill to swallow. You can get the Deluxe Edition for $90, however, and that does include the Character Pass. God damn it, we're including Character Passes into Musou style games now. Uh, that, that, is, that is something I do not want to see become a regular thing in these games. However, the base game, add it to your wish list. Maybe down the line, once it's down to sub $20, you might want to pick it up then. And lastly, a game that you'll definitely want to pick up on sale, Resident Evil 3. This is one that I was super excited for. However, it has become abundantly clear that $59.99 is probably not what this game is worth. Uh, a lot of cut content from the original Resident Evil 3 release. All things considered, the general consensus is that it's a very good game, it's a very well-made game, visuals are great, and the gameplay that is present is really good, however, all that cut content, and given the fact inherently it is a relatively short game, even with Resident Evil Resistance, probably not the game to pick up at a full $59.99. Some people probably don't want to hear that because Resident Evil is such an iconic franchise. And I love Resident Evil 2. I thought it was a tremendous game and I've been very high on Capcom and I've been singing their praises quite a bit. I think they've been doing an incredible job with games like Monster Hunter, games like Resident Evil 2, games like Devil May Cry 5. Resident Evil 3, on the other hand, not the best game in the world in terms of the Capcom standard. Is it a good game? By the looks of it, yes. It has a 76 on Metacritic. It still has a very positive reception on Steam being 81% positive, but overall probably not a game to spend that full $60 on, and you guys know me, I'm always going to be a little bit hesitant in dropping $60 right away on a game. I'm always going to be an advocate of you waiting a little bit longer. I know you guys already have ridiculous backlogs. Resident Evil 3, probably the kind of game, wait a few months for, let's see if it gets down to $20 to $30, and then it might be a good pickup then, but you probably should already temper your expectations if you're expecting a completely faithful remake of Resident Evil 3 with that cut content content being included, I think a lot of people that were big fans of RE3 back in the day are going to be a little bit disappointed, and even from a comparison standpoint to Resident Evil 2, it seems like it is a little bit of a drop-off in terms of content. Do remember that it does have that multiplayer component in there as well, so that is going to inherently add a little bit of longevity, but overall, I think most people were going into the game for the single-player campaign, and it does seem like that that is a little bit of a bummer, so probably one to pick up on a sale. That's going to conclude this video, guys. Again, I wanted to highlight a lot of these games. West of Dead was really the game I really wanted to talk about, and again... Hopefully, I'll actually do a video on that because I want to sit down, give that beta a shot, and really 
do a deep dive on it and give you guys a reason to know, learn about the game a little bit more because I imagine a lot of you still won't check it out. Uh, but if you do have the time, if it does interest you, do give that a look more than anything. Winter War, that mod looks crazy as well. In other waters, definitely add to your wishlist. One Piece fans, Pirate Warriors 4, Resident Evil 3, probably wait for a sale on that. That's going to wrap up this video, guys. If you have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.